Well, SeaWorld is preparing to defend itself in a high-stakes court battle potentially worth millions of dollars and it involves documentary Blackfish. In just weeks, a jury could begin hearing testimony accusing SeaWorld of defrauding investors. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest has been digging through new court records that reveal each side's legal strategy. Mike, the trial is finally happening. Uh, Julie, unless there is a last-minute settlement, jury selection will begin next month in San Diego. Investors claim that SeaWorld executives misled them about how Blackfish was hurting attendance. But SeaWorld officials insist they truly did not believe the film was keeping visitors away. When the documentary Blackfish premiered, SeaWorld officials downplayed it. In August 2013, a company spokesman told the LA Times Blackfish has had no attendance impact. Former SeaWorld CEO Jim Atchison was quoted in the Wall Street Journal saying, I scratch my head if there's any notable impact from this film at all, and I can't attribute one to it. In this class action lawsuit, a group of investors say those statements were false or misleading. In reality, they argue Blackfish was taking a toll. Musicians like Willie Nelson canceled concerts at the park. Companies like Southwest ended partnerships with SeaWorld. Like many people who watched that documentary. And a California lawmaker proposed a ban on captive killer whales known as the Blackfish Bill. In August 2014, for the very first time, SeaWorld notified investors that attendance was being hurt partly due to media attention relating to the recent legislation. That day, SeaWorld's stock price plummeted 33 percent, costing shareholders millions of dollars. Today, we pledge... To During the trial, Atchison is expected to take the stand in SeaWorld's defense. He will testify that he genuinely believed Blackfish was not hurting park attendance. Instead, he originally attributed the drop to bad weather, higher ticket prices, and new attractions at competing theme parks. Atchison's testimony could be supported by a surprising expert witness. These new ships will bring to Disney Cruise Line. Former Disney executive Carl Holtz is expected to confirm SeaWorld's observations about tourism attendance trends. Meanwhile, the shareholders have their own surprising witness, SeaWorld's former spokesman, Fred Jacobs. Jacobs now admits he made inaccurate public comments about Blackfish. According to the shareholders, Jacobs knew his statements were not true, but made them anyway at the direction of SeaWorld's CEO. Now, the investors claim that those misleading statements, or so-called misleading statements, artificially inflated SeaWorld's stock price by $7.52 per share. Now, SeaWorld officials dispute those calculations, saying the shareholders are owed zero. And this is a civil case, so could those executives be held with any criminal punishment? At, at this point, very highly unlikely, Julie. About a year ago, the U.S. Department of Justice dropped its criminal investigation into SeaWorld. However, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission did issue some civil penalties, totaling more than $5 million that went to SeaWorld, its former CEO, and its former spokesman. Now, all of them uh, did not acknowledge any wrongdoing. And, I mean, we're talking about this case lasting how long, do you think? The trial, I, we're, they, they still haven't said how long it's going to be, but there are a lot of witnesses, and there is a lot of money at stake for SeaWorld on mm -hmm. this. Um, and they want to come out strong with their defense, which is yeah, maybe it does look bad in hindsight when you saw what this film did, but at the time, knowing what they did based on historical uh, attendance trends, uh, SeaWorld's claiming that we didn't see anything that this film was causing that couldn't have been caused by something else, such as bad weather. So that's going to be up for the jury to decide. All right. Thank you, Mike, for that follow-up.